All right, hey, hey, this is uh, Mr. Herzog, and we're here talking about creative writing, and this is the last day that you have a chance to post responses to the uh, personal narratives in your workshop group. Let me turn this down because I'm a bit distracted by the counting crows in the background. Gotten into spinning vinyl, and that's just a uh, love of mine, so I have it playing in the background here. But what I want to do is real quickly talk about the process for this post-workshop response. Uh, so I'm going to hop over to the course here, and when I scroll down here, you're going to go down to the, uh, you'll see I'm passing module one, module two, here we are, by now, by now, it is Friday morning, and you should have posted, number one, your personal narrative should have been posted in your workshop on Monday, and by yesterday, you should have posted responses to everyone in your group, and now we are on to the last phase, and that last phase is this personal narrative submission, which I'm going to open up here. It's not open for you yet, but will be open by the time you get to it to tomorrow. So you need to do a very specific thing when you submit your personal narratives. And this all has to be done on one document. One document, not three, one document. And I say that because every year I have people that try to submit on three documents. I don't want it that way. You want to submit your final revised personal narrative here after completing the workshop assignment. After. I know some of you did it before. You want to label, number one, you want to label each part of this very distinctly. First, on the blank document, you're going to post the one that you revised. You've taken your students' feedback, your fellow classmates' feedback, you've altered, you changed it, you made it better, you label this one revised, and you post it at the top. Then... Number two, I would skip a line and then paste the original, unedited, unaltered piece below the revised copy so I can see how you've changed it. Label this as original. And then lastly, the third part, you need to, below both these pieces, you're going to type a paragraph in which you analyze how you improved your piece based on the peer reviews you received. You need to focus on three areas you improved. So if you have more than three areas, only three areas, and label the section as review. If you do not label each section, if you do not include each section, you cannot get full credit on your personal narrative submission. All right? So hopefully that's clear for you. If you have any questions, please message me.